Hello everybody. In this video session, we'll talk about the transpose formula versus the paste special transpose, the difference between the two and the advantage of one over another. Well, at a very basic level, if you want to convert this vertical data form into a horizontal form, in exactly the way it is shown, I can do so that very quickly. I can copy the data. I can put my cursor on one of the blank cells. I can say right click, paste special, and then values if you want values at this moment i don't want any values i want just the way it is but the main thing is you must choose transpose okay and i do that now watch if i change one of the numbers in the january of 2008 notice it doesn't change in the corresponding cell of the horizontally placed data but it does change in the other data output which is the table number two on the right now how do i make that happen well, the procedure is somewhat like this. Now, if you have a simple data, somewhat like this, one, two, and three. And once I make that posted on my screen, I wish that it must be pasted horizontally. At the same time, it should be connected to the original cell so that whatever changes are made here should reflect in these horizontal cells. Well, what I'm going to do is I am going to count how many instances of the numbers are there. There are three. So I'll choose three cells. Then I'll write equal to transpose. That's a formula. And I'll press the tab key to finish the entire formula. Now it asks for array. So I choose the designated array. Now when I close the bracket, do not press enter. Not even control enter. This is supposed to work like a group formula, array formula. Details of which I'll discuss more in detail later. But at this moment, the way to activate an array formula is control shift enter. And once I do that, notice if I change any one of the three values, it has an equivalent effect in the final output. Something similar I'm going to do. But you might ask me, look, this was a simple data, but the data that we are working with is slightly large. It's difficult for me to remember how many rows that I need to select horizontally. Correct. So we'll combine the power of both paste special transpose as well as transpose formula. How? I'll first choose the data, copy that. I will right click on one of the designated cells, paste special transpose. Okay. Now I don't need this paste special transpose. I did this because I can delete the data and what I'm left with is the selection. This selection is important because here I don't have to count how many cells I need to select. So once that is there on board, I will straight away type in equal to. Notice when I typed in equal to, the selection is still on and that's what I want. So do not click on a cell separately because that will take away the selection. So at this moment, I continue with our formula transpose. Now I will choose the entire array, something like this, not leaving any of the cells. Once I close the bracket, I will press control shift enter. And once I do that, the change, whatever change I make, let's say 1000, all of them. Notice all these cells where I have changed it to 1000 has an equivalent effect in the table with which I have got transferred as transpose formula. So I'll show this quick trick once again. First, you copy the designated cells. You do a paste special, paste special, transpose. Okay, delete immediately. What you are left with is the selection I would want. Start with equal to transpose. The cells are still selected. If I made a mistake, no problem. I'll do this again. Copy. Perfect. Do a paste special. Paste special. Mm -hmm. Transpose. Okay. Directly delete the data. Equal to transpose. Correct spelling of the formula. Then choosing the entire designated area. And closing the brackets. Finally, before I close this entire thing, control shift enter. So there you go. This was transpose formula versus space special transpose.